This is the, the quickest way I've found to make the paper briquettes. Right. Soak some papers for at least quarter of an hour, but I usually leave them overnight. Tear them into three. And just roll it up quite tight. This is this is quite a big thick newspaper today, so I won't use all. I roll till I get the diameter, roughly that. Then move over to the crest. I use a three-inch copper tube. It's perforated with holes. And it's the only height single lever press that I'm, I'm using this. Plans how to build it from the Engineers Without Borders website. Right, that's as much water as I'm taking out of it. Probably too big to win this time. I'll just take some paper off it. And try again. I generally make about 20 newspapers worth at a time. I soak 10 in the bucket of water overnight and I soak another 10 in the tray. To make the bricks normally takes me somewhere in order of 40 minutes, 45 minutes. The, I also, going back over to this side, I also have some shredded paper here that I get from one of my suppliers. I like to leave it to, to soak for four or five days before using it. It's not a success, it's messy, but I've got to take the paper or I don't get the other ones.
see how much longer it takes to make one of these than a conventional robot newspaper. So I started making the briquettes with one of the standard uh, brick makers. It, it wasn't very good. It didn't compress the bricks enough to dry them and in general it was just a lot of mess. It, that is now redundant. The Lee Height wooden press that used to be it used to make the square briquettes at this side, the biscuits that were about an inch thick eh, up at this side. But I've taken that bit off and I'll only use it for extracting the. Uh, but to me, that's the quickest way I've found yet of making the briquettes. Thank you. We've got a YouTube.